Okay, what is up you guys? What is up? Making a uh, an alligator wallet tonight. Um, out of salmon, and I want to say this is Tahiti blue. I can't remember what it is, but it's uh, Tahiti blue, Baja blue, maybe Baja blue. I think it's Baja blue, and then uh, salmon. Glazed American alligator. Uh, this will be a long wallet. Um, I'm gonna take this. Uh, this build will be kind of slow. I've got some ideas that I want to do on the interior, and uh, and uh, I don't know. I, I I just have a feeling it's gonna be a slow build in between um, incoming orders and website orders and whatnot and other other custom builds that I'm working on for, for you all. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep building this and uh, we'll see how this pans out. Uh, I'll try not to bore you to death. What is up, Brandon Della? What's up, man? Yeah, check it out. Salmon and Baja Blue. Gonna be a beautiful long wallet. I'll show you, let's see. Leave this like this, like this. So this is the basic idea right here. Uh, what's up, John Smith? Never bored, brother. Hey, um, so the Baja Blue will, will be about a three inch stripe from corner to corner. And then you'll have the salmon uh, on uh, adjacent corners on each side of the stripes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm gonna shape, I'm gonna shape these, uh, these fins down. Um, I had already skived them here. I'll take you over here. So first step was, was uh, skiving down the, uh, these edges before they were sewn. Uh, in an effort to make them thinner and more pl uh, pliable, um, moldable and whatnot. So anyways, then I brought it over here to the, uh, to the line finisher uh, to do that with. And then over here to the post machine, uh, 17 and a half inch Texo post machine there. And so now we're over here, we have some dry glue and uh, yeah, I'll I'll be popping it up to show you every 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 minute or something like that. We'll see, but I'm gonna go ahead and press these down and get this glued. Maybe even apply a liner before I got a jet. Man, a um, this is Springfield, Missouri. Uh, last night we got a nailed nailed with. Uh, an ice storm, dude. That was nothing. That was nothing less than an ice storm. Uh, straight up ice storm. It uh, in years, in the recent years, it has not snowed much at all in October and November. Uh, and to have an ice storm this early, dudes, man, nothing like an ice storm of 2006 and 2007, baby. Who was around for that one? Up yours, Della. Up yours. Anyways, um, pressing these down. Here, I'll show you. I'm just. I've got. I've got my my most favorite tool in the shop, the trusty hammer. And basically, I'm not using it as a hammer. I am, uh, I'm going, I'm massaging the fins down. As you see, it's laying flat, right? So I'm just using it as a three pound weight and then leaning into it. Um, you'd be surprised how much force it takes to train even the thin um, 
a thin, bony, cartilage -y, uh, alligator tail like this. So, tis what tis. Tis what it is. Yes, sir. But I will be using, I will hammer this on the anvil and we'll take it over there and we'll do that as soon as I politely and patiently and slowly with, a, with an easy hand massage and caress this beautiful grade one and grade two American alligator hide. What a beautiful hide it is. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful hide. And we are just massaging. We are just helping it along, holding its hand, teaching it the right ways. And voila, just by a little bit of massage from a dome side of a three pound made in the USA rounding hammer. Thank you farriers. Thank you blacksmiths for letting me use your tools. Uh, check it out, isn't it beautiful? Look at this. This is gonna be a special, special, special wallet. I'm very excited. I have a brand new idea for the interior. I, in fact, I've spent this whole past week working on this, this new idea for card slots. You all have, if you follow me on Instagram, you have been watching those stories come through. I'm very excited to do a little something similar uh, at a different degree on the inside of this long wallet. It's going to be a fantastic. But let's take this over here and uh, give these a tippity tap. A tippity tap. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Where am I gonna set? Here we go. All right. Set this down. Okay. All right. We're live. Live from Springfield. It's Tuesday night with. Ryan the I hope there's no one in this building. Just lightly. I am not abusing this hide. I would never do that. This hide is my friend. Check this out. I mean, just look. Look how beautiful this is. Man, can I brag on myself for just a second and just say, I've gotten really good at this. I have, man. Check that out. I am not one to brag. Y'all know that. I'm no braggart. I missed the year on that anvil. I missed the year on that anvil. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? You missed the year on that anvil. Th this anvil? Like what, how old is it? It's made in like 1898. Arm and hammer. It's an early one, super early. Let's see. There was about 55,000 arm and hammer anvils made. This is an early one. How did we get on anvils on the subject? This is ridiculous. You guys always distracted me. Get my work done. But let's just make sure. Yeah. 1301. No. 1311. This is the 1311th arm and hammer ever made. I think it was uh, 1898, I think. Now I'd have to go look because every 
uh, anvil collector that follows me is going to call me out, and that's fine. I haven't, I haven't cracked my. <laughs> you listen here, John Smith. No more anvil questions. That's another video. I'm just kidding. You guys ask all. You guys know you should ask all the questions you want. But check this out. So um, I got my edges uh, skived. I got it stitched over here on the post machine. Um, uh, I got my, I, I got the underside uh, glued, uh, two layers, nice, uh, set nice and tight, which really helps the hide lay down flat. Look at that beautiful thing. Roll that beautiful alligator belly footage. Whoo, that's nice. Okay, you guys, listen, I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow because I'm gonna wrap it up tonight. Been here for 16 hours. Um, and uh, we will continue working on this wallet. We're just going to do it live on, on, on YouTube here. How about that? That sounds like fun. I think, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's build this wallet on YouTube. I just made that decision. Uh, we're going to build this long wallet right here on YouTube. Check it out, okay? Let me know what you think as we build this together. Let me know what you think. I think this could be fun. I think this could be a lot of fun. Okay, let's do that. It'll be fun. Okay, let's do that. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Clicking out of this, is that right? What are we doing here? Three dots, share microphone, no. Huh, huh. You wanna stop stream, are you sure you wanna stop streaming? Yes.